I suppose you have some games. So I'm actually out here freezing my ass off in the 25 degree weather doing a little wrenching on the 78 Cutlass Calais 4 speed and the reason for that is it really was kind of unexpected but uh, if you uh, check out the other videos on on this car in particular as you guys know this was a, uh, a barn find uh, sitting for 17 years uh, basically it's a solid car from Texas interior uh, that's a different story. The interior is basically fried and uh, was infested with mice. I put, it a wanted, I put a wanted ad on Craigslist for some interior on this car. Basically just something a little bit better than what I have. Just because of the, uh, the mice. You can see all the mouse shit everywhere all over the seats. This interior was together. But I had uh, an individual contact me saying that they wanted some seat parts from this car. And we were going to do, we did actually, or, or I should say we're in the process of doing a swap. He has some uh, upper and lower rear seat material from a 79. Uh, the pattern looks the same, except uh, the little grain and the vinyl is slightly different. But that's fine with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the covers off these seats and recover it with the material that he's given me in trade for the upper passenger uh, seat and the lower driver's seat. So I took these apart last weekend and I just kind of threw them in here. Uh, their seats to me are junk, really, uh, just because they're kind of falling apart. Obviously, someone has been in here before because of that carriage bolt right there. There's also a bolt missing right there. So, and I know that the driver's seat was recovered at one point in time. So you know these things, these uh, these seats are just garbage to me, and, and I'm glad that someone else could uh, use the pieces because I was pretty much just gonna uh, take them out of this car and just throw them away. So I figured since the seats are pretty much out of this thing, uh, and I cut the carpet, the front and the rear, out just so it wouldn't hold any moisture from the car sitting outside. I didn't want it to rust the floors. I figure I'd uh, finish taking these seats out of here, pulled the remaining uh, portion of the carpet out of it and uh, just so I don't have to deal with it for the rest of the winter and once I do get some interior for this car uh, I can just go ahead and put it right back in so just go ahead and, and uh, I'm in the process of doing that right now I'll show you guys what the floor looks like once I have these seats out. Alright I got the seats out this is what it looks like and as uh, expected it's an absolute mess nasty carpet mouse shit everywhere found the uh, ashtray to one of the seats underneath the seat filled with you know you guessed it cigarette butts and ash I don't see any marijuana butts in here but I've found that in cars before so I'm gonna go ahead and rip this carpet out and hope the rest of the floorboards look as good as the uh, the ones exposed right here went ahead and unbolted the seat belts or at least what's left of them from the floorboard there right there's the anchor I wanted to show you guys how deteriorated these things are this is basically just plastic and what the Texas Sun does to this stuff, it literally just, I can take this piece of plastic and crumble it into just pieces. All dried out from the sun. And these seat belts were completely encased in plastic, as you can see. And I'm just crumbling this stuff like it's, it's just nothing. So, it's amazing what the sun does to these old cars. Well the carpet's out, the floorboards look pretty good. Just need to get a vacuum in here. I'll vacuum it all out in the springtime once it's a little bit warmer out. And check this out. Got a windshield molding clip sitting there. When I pulled the carpet out, who knows if that was dropped there when the car was being assembled, you know, when it was new in the uh, in the factory, so that's kind of neat. So the carpet's out. Got to do a little cleaning and hopefully I will uh, be able to find some interior on this car, or for this car I should say, and uh, uh, my, my ultimate plan with this car as of right now is just to uh, go through the uh, go through the engine as far as giving it a tune-up. Got to put a uh, take that holly off of there, uh, put a quadrajet on it, and just uh, go through the brakes and just get this car running and driving just so I can get in it and go and have a little fun with it uh, this summer. And who knows what I'll have what I'll have planned for it next, but. That's basically it. Go ahead, go ahead and uh, check out the videos on this car on, on the playlist. I had the links 
uh, within this video so make sure you click on those and make sure you check out my channel for all my other uh, G body projects and everything else I have going on.